Well, apparently there is no love lost for older Aussies. According to the Bureau of Statistics, Australians over the age of 50 are divorcing more and more. To find out why, I'm joined by Adele Thomas from the Passionate Retirees. Adele, thank you for your time this morning. Good morning, Tim. Look, some of these uh, statistics are a bit sad at first reading. I'll just pick one of them here. For women aged 50 to 65, the divorce rate has doubled in the last 22 years. Are we having some sort of marriage crisis? Well, actually, what's happened is the younger age group are divorcing less. Uh, they're delaying it until after the children have left home. And so the overall t statistics are staying the same, except Sadly, if, if you marry a second time, the statistics go up even more, your risk of, of divorcing, and a third time, even more than that. Gosh. So is it, the, uh, is it the kids? Is that what's driving this trend? Are we seeing more and more older Australians untying the knot, effectively because they want to raise the kids in a secure family environment? I think what it is, we get so lost in bringing up the children, our careers, etc., and we get into our 50s, Kids have left home and we look at the other person and go, oh, who are you? So we find we're actually strangers and we actually are changing ourselves. We're going through a transition. And also now recognising we're going to live well into our 80s, probably into our 90s. And is this the person we want to spend the next 40 years with? <laughs> You make it sound like a sentence. <laughs> well, some people think it is, and I think that's why it's important to make the changes. So you're growing older with your best buddy. So looking at these stats over the long term, would you expect these numbers to continue going up? Well, actually, the overall divorce rate stayed pretty much the same. And I think there'll be a bit of juggling about whether it's the older age group that, that are, are going to be divorcing more. Because as we're, we're remaining healthier longer, we're seeing that we've actually got whole new futures in front of us. Uh, and we want to have someone with us that's going to share that, rather than someone who's going to sort of sit in front of television and only be interested in, sorry guys, the football or the <laughs> cricket. Uh, we want a mate that's going to get out there and, and do things with us. That was a direct pointer at the blokes there, wasn't it? Well, what about the guys who don't like what their, <laughs> their wives are watching on television? Well, it goes both <laughs> ways. Oh, I agree entirely. Um, <laughs> we, we, we can both let ourselves go. And I think the secret is keeping that relationship going with your partner all through the years and looking after yourself. All right. Well, I've been married now coming up to 14 years. I feel supremely confident, Adele, that I'm not going to be one of those statistics. Well, have, have you got any quick tips for me? Well, have you talked to your wife lately? We talk all the time. Good. That's the <laughs> secret. <laughs> Having fun together doing, and, and taking time out from all the, the, the rush of the kids and, and work, etc., to keep that, uh, that chemistry in the relationship. All right. Yeah, it's... Um yeah, it's a worrying trend, but look, I suppose it's not all bad news for everyone, is that some people go on and, uh, and, and live out uh, very happy lives and meet new people and all of that, so Absolutely. we'll take a glass half full approach to this, Adele. Yeah, definitely. All right, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you.